alrighty, today what I wanted to talk about is heat guns. Now I just uh, got done watching a YouTube channel that was demonstrating the the new DeWalt battery operated heat gun. And I just so I just wanted to talk about this because uh, he was comparing it to the Milwaukee, which the Milwaukee performs exactly like Ryobi does. And and so of course DeWalt won because it is it runs approximately like 110 degrees hotter than the Ryobi and Milwaukee does. Uh, this runs at 875 degrees, so does Milwaukee, and DeWalt runs about 900 and I think they said 900 and like 90. So it only runs a, a little bit over 100 degrees more. And uh, I've done videos of this already, no, ma no matter what, and you guys know this as well. Uh, battery operated heat gun will not be nearly as powerful as a corded heat gun. No, this is a good heat gun. It's 60 bucks. Uh, it's the only quarter heat gun that I got. But what I want to talk about is the accessories that this one comes with. You get a flat, uh, a wider flat one, so you could it, it just directs the heat down, uh, out and downward. There's actually uh, that's cool. What this is? This is actually the most interesting one. This is a barbecue nozzle. If you use charcoal, this will ignite it, which I find that extremely interesting. So you just put this into the charcoal and then it will it it sets it on fire. Which I find that extremely interesting because Tac Life does make a grill, which I that is seriously awesome. I did not know that uh, a tool company made a grill, which Tac Life does. All right, so this one is a spoon uh, reflector nozzle. This is for soldering pipes. You got the cone nozzle. The cone nozzle, which is just like I said, it just narrows the path of where the heat goes. You got a fishtail nozzle, already said that. A scraper. You got a scraper. Barbecue nozzle. And then, uh, uh, then yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, which this one is... I'm not gonna lie. This one is the most interesting one that they have. Like I've never even thought of using a heat gun to ignite a barbecue. That's seriously awesome. Now this it's actually pretty hefty. It's a it's a it feels like a thick plastic. It actually this actually looks extremely cool. You know, it's one one thing to see it online, and then it is to have it in your hand. All right, all right, so now I think I programmed the first setting to be 1,060 degrees. So let's see what happens. 160, 180, 220. Oh, wait, wait. So we go to setting 2, adjust this to 900. Almost there. And push the download button. Now it's setting two. All right, 180, 220, 900, because that's where I was already originally at. So then we go to 1060, which I programmed, then 900. Alrighty, so we are going to start off with an area. I don't care about stickers. If the stickers melt, they melt. I'm going to let this heat up. 1200 degrees, let's let that heat up for a second. So we are dealing with a heat gun, so remember to wear gloves.
So after doing the test, this thing is amazing. This did what the Ryobi One Plus heat gun failed to do. And so the, the One Plus heat gun just isn't powerful enough, but I guarantee you this one is. Now this plastic is designed to withstand a tremendous amount of heat because of the heat from the, the engine. So the, this is in a uh, enclosed area with a tremendous amount of heat. So this is designed to withstand a lot. And the TAC Life heat gun uh, succeeded at mending it back. Now I am not going to be able to mend this back to fact to f how it was when it came out of the factory, but remember it was like that. So now we have a straight line, which this would uh, this would actually go back on the boat. So I am going to have to do this side, and it's going to look just like just like this side does. So this is a hundred and eighty dollar part, and I just. I'm going to be able to fix it with the uh, Attack Life heat gun, so this actually saved me a lot of money immediately. So having the right tool for the right job is what you need, and Attack Life is one of those right tools. I just wanted to talk about the accessories that this comes with that you could use on your Ryobi One Plus heat gun. Now, the what I had to do to get these to fit is... I had to uh, bend this just a little bit, just a smidge for two, three of these accessories. Just had to uh, bend the edge just a smidge. And as you can see, now they fit nice and tight. Now I don't have, I lost my, uh, they might have gotten thrown away with the box because I might have forgotten to uh, take them out and put them away. But I don't have the accessories for this anymore for the extra tips. So luckily, I got the I got the extra tips from uh, Tac Life, and and yeah, these things are cool. Like the ones that comes with Ryobi, uh, the One Plus are two tips. You pretty much get something like this, and a tip like this, and so. But you get with the Tac Life, you get two more. You get it comes with a few more accessories, but these four are the ones that matter the most. Uh, so yeah, so all I just uh, all I had to do is crimp them a little bit. And they, they're on there nice and snug. As you can see here, it's just grinding. So it's on there extremely snug. So it's like, uh, so yeah, but I cannot wait to put this one to the test uh, with a charcoal barbecue. This one is really cool. You could, I, I, this one, if you have a pipe the correct size, you could also heat it from the inside. But yeah, you just stick this into the charcoal barbecue and let it cook for, for a minute or two. And then it'll, start the flame which is awesome i just want to point that out because i just watched a dewalt uh heat gun you know the battery operate there the dewalt battery operate heat, heat gun isn't as isn't that much more powerful than this is compared to uh he, uh quarter heat gun because this goes up to 1200 degrees easily within like 30 seconds and it's continuous heat. You don't need to worry about battery. You don't need to worry about charging. So I'm not gonna do a comparison between the heat, uh, quartered heat gun and a battery operated heat gun because I already did. I did a Wagner versus the One Plus and uh, of course the One Plus lost. So there's so, but I just wanted to talk about the accessories that I got with this and uh, and yeah, they're, they are universal. All you have to do is, uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but this was a circle. I just crimped the two bottom pieces uh, just a smidge, and now it goes on and stays on. I just wanted to do that. I felt, you know, I just watched the DeWalt uh, video, so I just wanted to do this video really quick. And these accessories are awesome. These accessories are awesome. For a good heat gun, 60 bucks, and it comes with accessories and more than this, it's not bad. So that's pretty much it. This is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.